Okay, what if we have this? If we will substitute uh, 3, a negative 3 to this one, you're going to have 2 times negative 3 plus 6 over negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 minus 3. That is negative 6 plus 6, 0. This is 9 minus 6 minus 3 is also 0. So indeterminate form, so we don't do that. So what we're going to do is we will factor first. Okay, let us have this time indeterminate form of type 0 over 0. Indeterminate can be of different forms and uh, 0 over 0 is one of them. So this is when uh, we substitute the value of c to the limits, we will get a 0 over 0. For example, we have a limit of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So we had a theorem that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is just equal to f of c, meaning to say we will just substitute c to x in f of x if the function is uh, polynomial, rational, radical, uh, provided that c is in the domain and uh, other functions. But uh, in this case, uh, we cannot do that because if, uh, if we do that, uh, we are going to have uh, z, uh, 2 squared minus 4 over uh, 2 minus 2, which is 4 minus 4 over 0, or that is 0 over 0. That's why this is called indeterminate form. So we don't do that. So what are we going to do with this kind of uh, function? So what we're going to do is we have two techniques. Uh, in this case, we will do uh, factoring. And then after we factor, we will cancel uh, the common factor so that we will, have, uh, we will uh, get rid of uh, the factors that will make the entire function here uh, 0 over 0. Okay, so in this case, we have, uh, let's factor limit of factors of x squared minus 4 or x minus 2, x plus 2. So you are factoring a difference of squares, so you will have a difference and sum of the two terms. So you just take the square root of x squared, that's x squared root of 4 is 2, and then you will have the sum and the difference. Copy the denominator x approaches 2 and then you can cancel here so nothing is left on uh, the denominator so it's going to be 1 there so it's going to be limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 2 and this time we can already uh, substitute so 2 plus 2 and that is 4 just replace this x with 2 and copy 2 so 4 so this one is actually equal to 4 Okay, what if we have this? If we will substitute uh, 3, a negative 3 to this one, you're going to have 2 times negative 3 plus 6 over negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 minus 3. That is negative 6 plus 6, 0. This is 9 minus 6 minus 3 is also 0. So indeterminate form, so we don't do that. So what we're going to do is we will factor first. So limit of the factor, we have a, a common factor here, 2 times x plus 3. So you will factor 2x plus 6 to 2 times x plus 3. And the denominator factoring trinomial, you will have x, x, and then factors of 3, 3, and 1. You should have a sum of 2. So you should have a positive 3 and a negative 1. 
So as x approaches negative 3, so we will cancel this and then you will have limit of 2 over x minus 1 as x approaches negative 3. And here we can already substitute. So 2 over negative 3 minus 1, that's 2 over negative 4 simplified, that's negative 1 half. So this one is negative 1 half. Okay, let us have one more. What if we have a limit of x squared plus x minus 6 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2? If you will substitute 2 here, you will have 2 squared plus 2 minus 6 over 2 minus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 minus 6, 0 over 0. So what we're going to do is we will uh, factor. So limit of what are the factors of x squared plus x minus 6? So of x squared, x and x. Of 6, what are the factors of negative 6 that will give you a positive 1 when added? So it's going to be positive 3 and negative 2 as x approaches 2. So if you have, if we have this lesson, your hint in factoring is the denominator here or the other one if in the denominator, what's in the numerator will be your hint in factoring because the goal is to cancel. So there should be a common factor in the numerator and denominator. So since there's an x minus 2 here, we are expecting that there's also a factor x minus 2 on the numerator because this uh, factor will make the entire fraction uh, 0 over 0. So we have to cancel that. So this one is limit of x plus 3 as x approaches 2, and then we can already substitute 2 plus 3, so that is 5. So this is 5. Okay, example number 4. A limit of uh, x squared minus 5x over x squared minus 6x plus 5 as x approaches uh, 5. So if we will substitute 5 there, it's going to be indeterminate. So factor, so common factor is x in the numerator. So x times x minus 5. So x times x minus 5 are the factors of this. And the denominator x, x factors of 5 are 5 and 1. That will give you a negative 6. So negative and negative. Okay, as x approaches 5. Okay, we will cancel x minus 5. We will have limit of x over x minus 1. As x approaches 5, we can already substitute. So 5 over 5 minus 1. So that's 5 fourths. So this is 5 fourths. Okay, last example. What if we have the limit of um, x squared minus 5x minus 14 over x squared minus 11x plus 28 as x approaches 7. So if you will substitute 7 directly, you will have an indeterminate form of type 0 over 0. So let's factor as x approaches 7. Factors of x, x, x squared, x, and x. Factors of 14 that will give you a 5, uh, that will give you 7 and 2. But uh, negative, so one should be negative, the other is positive, that will give you a 5, so negative 7, positive 2. And at the bottom, you will have x, x, 28, that will give you negative 11, so negative 4 and negative 7. So cancel this. So you will have limit 
of x plus 2 over x minus 4 as x approaches 7. We can substitute now 7 plus 2 over 7 minus 4. So that's 9 over 3, which is 3. Okay, let us have another one. So we can do factoring if we have indeterminate form, but sometimes, like for example, uh, you have a limit of x minus 1 over square root of x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So what are we going to do if we have an irrational number here, or not an irrational, but a square root? So what we're going to do is we will rationalize. So we have two techniques. If we have indeterminate form, we have a factoring and rationalizing. So in rationalizing, what you're going to do is we have to get rid of this uh, uh, square root here at the bottom and, and uh, multiply something. So if you will substitute 1, that's going to be 0 over 0. So we will multiply square root of x plus 1 over square root of x plus 1. So that this is going to be uh, x, so that no more square root on the denominator. So we will have limit of, we will just write them together, x minus 1, uh, square root of x plus 1, over, if you multiply this two, you have a sum and difference of two terms. The, the result is the difference of the squares. So the square of the square root of x is x. And the square of 1 is 1. So that we can cancel this. Oh, this is as x approaches 1. So limit of square root of x plus 1 as x approaches 1. So that is going to be square root of 1 plus 1. That's 1 plus 1, 2. So this, by multiplying this, you will have, or you are rationalizing this part here. And uh, it's going to go up. So if it's minus here, you multiply with a plus so that you will have a difference and a sum and get a difference of squares. Okay, another example. What if we have limit of the square root of 2x minus 2 over x minus 2 as x approaches Two. So if you will substitute 2, that's going to be 2 times 2, 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then 2 minus 2 is also 0. So multiply both numerator and denominator. Since this is minus, you have to multiply a plus. So square root of 2x plus 2. Square root of 2x plus 2. So limit of multiplying difference and sum will give you difference of squares. The square of square root of 2x is 2x. The square of 2 is 4 over x minus 2 times square root of 2x plus 2 as x approaches 2. Okay, but 2x minus 4 can be written as 2 times x minus 2 by factoring the common factor 2. And you can cancel this. You will have limit of 2 over square root of 2x plus 2. As x approaches 2, and we can already substitute. Copy 2 over 2 times 2 plus 2. That's 2 over 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So 2 plus 2, 2 fourths, or that is 1 half. Okay, let us have limit of a 2 minus square root of x over x minus 4. So if you will replace 4 there, it's going to be square root of 4 to 2 minus 2, 0 over 0. So you try this one. And then number 4, you can also try... Um, Limit of square root of 4 minus x minus 1 
over 3 minus x as x approaches 3. So if you substitute 3, that's going to be 4 minus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 over 3 minus 3 is 0. So 0 over 0. So uh, before I give you the answer, uh, you can uh, pause the video if you want to uh, have more time in answering. So this can serve as your uh, practice. So uh, what you're going to do is you have to rationalize. Okay, let's answer. So multiply by, since uh, we'll have 2 plus square root of x over 2 plus square root of x. As what you can see, what you multiply to the numerator, you should also multiply to the denominator because that is the entire fraction is 1. Multiplying to a 1 to something will give you the same value or the same expression. Okay, so uh, we will have uh, its equivalent. So limit of multiplying difference and sum will give you difference of squares. Square of 2, 4 minus square of square root of x x over x minus 4 times 2 plus square root of x as x approaches 4. As what you can see here, they are uh, interchanged uh, uh, 4 first and then x. So we can write this as a negative x plus 4. And then we can factor a negative 1. So this is the same as limit of negative 1 times x minus 4, this one, over x minus 4 times 2 plus square root of x as x approaches 4 and cancel this and we will have limit of negative 1 over 2 plus square root of x. So we can already substitute negative 1 over 2 plus square root of 4, negative 1 over uh, square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So negative 1 fourth. Okay? You can uh, comment down below if uh, you got the correct answer. Negative 1 fourth. How about number 4? Multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. Square root of 4 minus x plus 1 over square root of 4 minus x plus 1. And you will get limit of square of this is 4 minus x minus square of 1 is 1 over 3 minus x times square root of 4 minus x plus 1. And then 4 minus 1 is 3. And then you can cancel this. So you will have limit of 1 over square root of 4 minus x plus 1 as x approaches 3, so that's 1 over square root of 4 minus 3 plus 1. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So the correct answer is 1 half. So please comment if you got the correct answer. That means to say you have learned from the previous examples. So for now, that's it for the indeterminate form of type 0 over 0. See you in the next video. Bye!